Hey guys, welcome back to Double EXP. I'm Nav. And I'm Chase. And we're playing Banner Saga 2. Um, we're getting uh, real close to the end. Yeah, so we think, anyways. I'm pretty sure we are. I'm pretty it feels sure. like. Yeah, because he was all like, this is, what a terrible place for a last stand. Human bridge. Should I buy food? Whatever. Uh, I don't know. It may not matter. You may want to level people up, but... Maybe a little bit, just in case, but... No, I'm just going for it. Because, you know, days pass while we're waiting, you know what I mean? Nope, just going for it. All right. <laughs> you have one day's worth of food. That's enough. That's all I need. People are going to start dying. Yeah, well, people die, you know. <laughs> Crap happens, whatever. <laughs> all right, let's level, let's level this dude up. Sigbjorn. Are, wait, did you, are all your dudes rested up and stuff? Awesome. All right, I, am, dodge. I am happy to hear that. So we're gonna get four points. That's not that's not ideal. That's not ideal. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go for divert. Sure. That way he has a chance to uh, dodge strength attacks and armor attacks. Awesome. Look at that. He's just a dodge tank now. He's a dodge tank. I guess I'll give this to him. Dodge tanks are cool tanks because all they do is just, they say like, hey, attack me, and then they don't get attacked. And it's like... That um, also gives him plus 30% two times strength damage. Nice. On top of his 15%. I mean, yeah. That's pretty good. He, I wonder how that works, though. I, like, it says plus three all talent ranks. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Oh, it works for that. So he has rank 6 crit, so he has 35% base crit oh, chance. Oh, that's what that means. So you want those on people that have the... Shoot. Oh, man, that's really cool. Though. That is cool. Lucky for him, he has that. <laughs> so he has a good chance of crit. That might be why he was critting so much. <laughs> like, that gives him plus 2 break talent ranks, which is the divert... So he already has rank four. In nice. That. That's pretty good. Even though you only put two. I, how beautiful is that? That is pretty it's cool. Pretty beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So we got a choice to make. I think we got houses or volunteers. Um, or maybe we can do both eventually. I'm not honestly very sure. Yeah. Um, it's up to you, man. I don't really remember which one is which. I feel like, <laughs> let's go with volunteers. Why not? The fighters. Men and women from Akur and a few other northern towns. I almost said southern. <laughs> Watch you as you approach. Show me your shield wall. You bark. Only a few of them move and raise their shields. So you charge them, sending terrified humans running or skidding across the ground. Scared of a faint and dis undisciplined? You shout. Either way. You'll be dead in first assault. Shield wall. This time, everyone's, everyone runs to lock shields and brace with their shoulders. You still break through, but it's a better effort. <laughs> Fulka and a few other ravens join you to correct stances and swings, but it's the arrival of clansmen from Bindal that surprises you. Uh, You, you want to do that voice? Sure. You never had to get us this far, but you did. A man says. Time for us to pitch in. Hopefully we won't muck everything up. Ooh. Oh, we swapped 100 clansmen into 100 fighters, dude. Look nice. at that. Nice. You show the new volunteers how to reinforce a shield wall. After an hour, you tell everyone to rest and get ready for the real fighting. In private, Folka asks, Think it'll make a difference? Uh, let me know. Do two. All right. They might take a few hits uh, intended for us, so maybe. Good enough, I guess, she says. I'm not sure 500 Varl will make much of a difference against all these dredge. You nod, but say nothing. <laughs> Let's go hmm. talk to Folka, even though we were just talking to Folka. <laughs> oh, look, <clears throat> you can, you can like, peek behind that little tower and you can see it's, like, over there. <laughs> look nice. at that. That's, that's super interesting. The shield maiden tightens straps on her armor. While glaring at you with red rimmed eyes. She's probably mad because we knocked her on the ground. Yeah, and you know, made her nose bleed and stuff. Dude, she has a scar there. Look at that. 
I think she, she always had, I think she always had that, didn't uh, she? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe not. If you got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave right now. Oh. Whoever's after us would roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. Then we can leave that dang cart here? Let the dredge have it? I gave an oath to... An oath isn't worth all our fine lives? Uh, yeah. That's exactly what an oath is worth. In the following silence, you see Folka's eyes brim with tears. I don't want to die. Not yet. And I don't want you to die either. Talk like this is forbidden in the company, but you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect herself. What would you do if the person you followed for years was no longer the same? Mm. That too. All right. I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. You said yourself will be dead soon. What have you come up with? There's a voice in my head, growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower's dead? His body? He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Folka nods. The conclusion doesn't seem too far-fetched for her. These dreams are things he's seen. The Valka did something to betray him. They were working with the Thunder? I think so, but this has more to do with Avon than Juno. Or Avon and Juno. They did, uh, yeah. They did something. Something bad. I don't even think Zephyr knows what they did. The two of you look over at Zephyr. The Valka, the Valka stares into a fire, lost in thought. So what does all of this mean? Three? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I figured it as much. Still, it feels better knowing I'm not the only one in the dark. You look up at the sharp contrast between the constant sunshine and the black wall. Heh. I guess we'll all be in the dark soon enough. The scout's horn signals all fighters to the bridge. If we make it through this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to me. You storm off to the fighting, building your rage with each step. Uh, getting angry. Oh. Oh. That's an interesting noise. The immensity of the dredge force standing just across the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. Their droning sounds shake the ground and you wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. Oh, oh what? Whoa. It's Nickelback, dude! What? It's Nickelback, dude! What? What is Nickelback doing there? What is going on? Oh my god! What is happening? <clears throat> alright, alright. Should I should I bring should I bring Deitch instead of the old man? I don't know, man. I think so. He's higher level. <laughs> Should I bring uh, Zephyr, just to see if there's any like interaction or something, or is Fasold a good a good dude to bring? Uh, I don't know. Maybe bring, maybe bring Zephyr. Fasold. All I'm right. gonna bring Fasold. He's a, he's a he's like he's a moger. He's tanky. All right. We need people who can take hits. Man, dude, I don't know what's dude, going I'm on. I'm so pumped for this. This better be an epic battle. <laughs> Dude, he's in the battle. Oh my gosh. This is like a crazy looking fight. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that Nickelback? <laughs> but he's dead. That is a Nickelback, but eyeless. Oh, it's eyeless. 
Okay, well. Oh, so we're going to have to fight Eyeless again. Oh, man. Anyways, next time on Double Oh, my goodness. Bye, guys. Bye.